All right, guys. Yo, this is not one of those organized days. This is one of those, man, I really want to see you guys. Um, haven't done videos in a while type days. I've got a schedule of things I want to get into, but tonight's objective is simply turn on the camera, share my mind, and sign off. Just wanted to encourage you guys, um, believers, non-believers. I'm kind of specifically talking to believers um, with a splash of non-believer in there. But I just want to talk about um, your journey of faith. Uh, I'm 35. I'll be 35 in February. Um, I started believing in Jesus Christ when I was 13. And so, as you can imagine, it's been a long journey. Um, and I feel in a lot of ways like I'm only just getting started um, in some regards. But um, I've recently talked to a few brothers in Christ who have struggled in their walk. Some turn away. Some have a hiatus. And I just want, it, it made me think about my own journey with Christ. And I think one of the most dangerous things that you can do as a human being is not seek God. And then on top of that, when you're not seeking God, but you're also choosing to distance yourself intentionally from the things of God, the people of God, the conversation of God, you really put yourself in a vulnerable situation where you're just subject to literally anything. And I just want to encourage you that if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, who you might be new in the faith, might have been in the faith for a while, and now there's just some things that are starting to bother you. If you're in a vulnerable place where you're wrestling with God, you're angry with God, you're questioning certain things about God, you're thinking about history, you're thinking about research, science, all of the above, you know, fill in the blank. In 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 a way where you feel uncomfortable um, proclaiming the gospel, saying that you're a Christian, if you feel so in a wrestling that you are questioning even associating with Christians or Christianity or believing in God and Jesus Christ because of questions that you have or wrestlings that you have, I just want to encourage you guys, don't leave the room. Don't leave the flock. It's okay, though it's sinful, <laughs> to, to wrestle with God. It's okay in the sense that if that's you and you're, and you're troubled, and you, you struggle with your faith and things like that, stay in the room. You might have to distance yourself from some extent from believers or certain people in your life that are putting pressure on you. And I get it, you know, if, if, if you're genuinely questioning your faith or whatever, you know, you, there's a certain level of tension that's just created in all your circles that can be a bit overwhelming, though it's necessary, though it's biblical, the way in which we shepherd one another, the way in which we fellowship, the way in which we look after the flock and care for one another. But I get it. Some of you guys has to have to distance yourself in a certain regard. But don't just make big statements because we live in a world where you quote unquote have to have it all together and you have to make declarations and everything seems black and white. No, it's not. There's a lot of gray area. And if you're wrestling with your faith, wrestle with it in front of God, before God, around God's people. Give yourself a compartment of space in your life where people can speak positivity, speak truth and life. And even if you're questioning the very truth and life that they're speaking, don't dissociate and just go on a high. Some people think, oh, I just got to go get sober with my thinking. I'm going to warn you. That is not sobriety. But if you feel that you do, don't walk out of the room. Don't entirely leave the conversation. You can sit in limbo and say, okay, well, I'm questioning this. This is troublesome to me. I might not even believe in this whole thing, but you know what? I'm not going to throw myself out of the window and say, you know what? I'm not a Christian or, or I'm not going to throw myself out of the window and dissociate with all humankind and go get a new life and new friends and new way of living. That is so dumb, guys. Don't do that. I truly believe that when you have a relationship with God in your freedom in Christ is paid for by Christ. You're, you're saved from yourself by Jesus Christ. God's pleased by what Christ has done on your behalf. And so 
what are the things you're trying to live up to and become and portray to the world that one has been paid for by Jesus Christ, but two, what pressures are you adding there to where you have to feel like you know everything or that you've got your faith together or yeah, I'm certain I'm a Christian and here's why and both. Why can't you be a vulnerable person? Why can't you admit, I don't know everything, I'm confused right now, but still stay in the fold? You can be, the safest place you can be when you're questioning God is right in front of God, in prayer, it with God's people, nurturing you and being patient with you. And if you're in a, and then listen, I get it. Sometimes, again, like I said before, it could be a hostile environment. We start questioning your faith. You start saying crazy stuff. People start writing you off. People start really, oh man, you need to, the, and they start just getting overly involved. I get it. Sometimes you got to create some distance, but don't just create total distance and don't leave the room. Um, if God is who he says he is, he w- his, his will will come to pass. You know, there's no escaping that, but in the midst of this life that you're living, don't ever leave the room with God. Come before God with your questions, even if you're struggling to believe in him, stay around. You don't have to be so drastic. We live in such a world where people's stances have to be so drastic and they have to just be all in on everything. And it creates for this odd pressure that you've created for yourself where you just can't be, you can't simply just be maybe a believer in question of some things. You got to have your answers figured out in a couple months. You can't wrestle with some things of God for a couple of years that you might not fully be convicted by and believe in. You can. People do it all the time. It is a lifelong journey. Think about it this way: if we are being, if we're saved by Jesus Christ, it's His work on the cross, not ours, and therefore the way God views us is by what Christ has done for us. And God has not made a situation with where sanctification is momentary, meaning he hasn't created a situation in which you are now perfect. God's Christ's perfection is what paid for your life, but then there's progress. We call it positional and progressive sanctification. Positionally, you are justified by the full hundred percent righteousness of Jesus Christ on the cross and the life that he lived that you couldn't. But then the progressive sanctification part of it is that, God has put in place a journey for you to take where until you die, you are being perfected. You are being encouraged. You are being nourished. There is unlimited forgiveness in Christ. There's this constant, it's a fight for joy, a fight for being completed in joy. Now, God orchestrates it. God creates it, maintains it, sees it through to its completion, but you're a participant of that. And so don't act outside of a means in which God has created for you to be in, which is you, as you are being perfected in Christ, there are things imperfect about your thinking and your way of living that are being transformed. So why live as if you somehow have to have it all figured out? You are being transformed always. And in that process, let yourself be that with God and with God's people, even if you're questioning God, and watch miraculous things happen. You don't have to have it all figured out today. You don't have to have it all figured out in six months. You don't have to have it figured out in five years. Live life day by day. Tomorrow is not promised to us. And seek God. Be in prayer. Be open to the things of God. Whether you don't believe in it or not, open yourself to receiving and having a resource available to you to be constantly have that fa- that flame fanned again and the affection stirred back up again. Um, the world is full of lies. And I strongly believe that if you abandon the faith, you're inheriting uh, a portal of lies that will seem sweet to you, but have death on the other side of them, have emptiness on the other side of them. Uh, believers in Jesus Christ who are in question with, with things of your faith, Stay in the room. Stay before God. Stay around God's people. If the people that are around you aren't dope, switch them out, find new people, or pray that you can have the strength to endure with them. (laughs) I don't know what your situation is. It's very situational. It's not black and white either. Um, But yeah, I'll just be praying for you guys. Um, And for you non-believers, 
hey man, you might not believe in Jesus Christ, but there's some things in the faith that you find attractive or that you know, you notice that void in your life and you're trying to just kind of learn some things and navigate and you want to feel comfortable while you do that. Yo, you don't have to just say, I don't believe in it or I do. Be in process with it. Make yourself available to seeing a Christian's life and evaluating Christians and evaluating God and learning what this life of faith is all about. Because one thing I've learned for sure is that Sometimes you just need to see one person's life and how they do it, and it'll completely transform your thinking and all the presumptions you made about what Christians look like. So be open to that. A little goes a long way in this walk, and you don't need a big posse of people. You don't need a big group of supporters. You just need Jesus Christ, and he'll do the rest, and he'll put people in your life to fellowship with that will help shape you as well. Might not be happy meal quick, and that's okay. Be patient. Hope you guys were encouraged by that. Love you, man. I'll talk to you soon.